It's no secret. Emergency medical services, or EMS, in rural areas are not always paid well and often short-staffed. There is a new exhibit at the History Center of Olmstead County featuring these workers. KIMT News 3's Emma Stebb joins us now in studio sharing more about the issues EMS providers continue to face. Emma. Cammie, the History Center's new exhibit is showcasing John Perkins, who founded Gold Cross Ambulance in 1962, which has now become Mayo Clinic Ambulance. He was a pioneer in the field of paramedicine. The exhibit features photos, ambulance equipment, and memorabilia. After attendees checked out the artifacts, a panel discussion was held with different EMS providers talking about the continued challenges that they face, especially in rural communities. Essentially, all rural EMS providers are volunteers getting little to no pay. The struggles of finding Funding continue to be a main concern, as well as the extensive continued education required. The job also takes a physical and mental toll on people. We need the public to understand that funding is an issue and making sure that they're working with their legislatures and making sure we can get established funding uh, to keep EMS stable. And two bills were passed to aid EMS this year, one being a grant that different rural services can apply for to help with general funding needs, and the other providing an advanced life support vehicle in rural Minnesota. And if you are interested in checking out the exhibit, it will be on display for the next month. The History Center is open Tuesday through Saturday, 9 a.m. until 5 p.m.